Sorry, D-Lay. We have to show. They've been asking about it. They gotta have it. The Seattle story. What's the Seattle story? It's not fair. These are my friends. <laughs> I can't do this to them. They gotta have it. They begging for it. What you doing? What does this show come to? Names and dates, bro. That's what the yeah. fuck it came to. That's what? really what it's all about at this point. It's the monster y'all created. Come to. All right, I'm just getting out of my marriage. I'm separated. Uh -oh. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. Mm -hmm. My first time on the road with Billy. It's Thanksgiving. <laughs> it's Thanksgiving. I'm on the road with Billy for the first time. Can't remember the color, but I know he had on a suit. Mm -hmm. I know exactly what color suit it was. What color suit was it? it? Was Aqua. Aqua, yeah, yeah. Aqua jacket. Yeah. Black black shirt, black pants. Yeah. That sounds like a Billy suit. And <clears throat> this one female who I've been wanting to get, I couldn't get to. Hey, her. this is the after show, bro. You need to come on with the fucking name. Because we're not going to do this all day. Yeah, it's Patreon. It's oh, it's Patreon. Patreon. We get straight to the money. Yeah. Um, Here, he still don't want to do it. Here you go. He still don't want to do it. Hey, here, I'm going to give you all some amazing. Either you going to say Moni. It, yeah. Moni. And what's her, what's her mama name? Oh. oh, no. Oh. Glow. You boys have held out on me. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, nigga. Because it was either you going to say it or I'm going to say it. All right. So, I haven't. God damn, this is cold. The mama? Wow, guys. What do we, what is this show? This is what they pay for. Okay. These people paying for this one. All right, so, <laughs> who is, this one is, wow, guys. All right, so, we're doing this theater, right? And F Freeze, I'm just telling you right now, I ain't here to tell stories, I'm here for law enforcement. Anytime this nigga start wavering off the course on this story, I'm pulling this motherfucking ass back to the line. So just just understand my demeanor is such. <laughs> hey, bro, <laughs> hey, 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 I'm right here with you. Go ahead. All right, so we're we doing this theater show. He fucked me is what he did. And <laughs> I see Billy. It's our first time on the road together. And he fucked me is <laughs> what he did. I'm like, hey, bro, I need you, Billy. Right away, I see it's my first time meeting him. I said, hey, I need you. <laughs> first time being face to face. <laughs> you don't know, ever want to hear D-Lay say the word. I need you. Billy, what you got? I said, look, man, um, see that chick? Like, no. Never met. Never this, on met. The, this on the shield, basically. I'm I, just on some good, I, I, good friends. I'm just face to face with it. Y'all some, some comedians. We both knew. Y'all both but, campers. But I, 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 he going to help me anyway. Right, right, right. I'm a, I would help him. So right, right. He fucked me is what he did. He I horse, need he you. He horse fucked me. Keep so on. I said, keep what you, I said, you see your girl over there? Ooh. Damn. I said, yeah. Yeah, I need you to run, uh, run a little interference with me. Who? What you got? I got it. <laughs> Say her mama. Already her mama. Okay, where she at? That's her right next to her. No, no, stop. This is what he's lying. He's full of shit. Now, what he told me was, this how he, this what he did. Some bitch showed me, showed me Moni at the show. Then we get to the hotel. He calls me. Hey, on the room phone. This motherfucker calls room to room. <laughs> hey man, hey, what you, I need you. If I ain't never need you before, I need you. Uh, <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> you don't really know that. Hey, you, you, <laughs> nigga, you don't really know that. Hey, man. <laughs> nigga, it's 1.30 in the morning, first off. Let's start with that. So, <coughs> hey, man, I, I need you. If I ain't never need you before. Oh, you know what? No, no. Back up. What happened was, I told him in the dressing room, I might need you. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's what, what happened. That's what, that's what that's happened. That's what then the guy that's told him. I definitely need you. He showed me who she was. Damn sure didn't tell me it was a mama. Let me tell you how that came out. Because I'm stopping you right now. Because this is how you fucked me. Because he fucked me. I'm in my room. I'm chilling. He hits me on the room phone. Hey, man. Hey. I t hey. I need you. God damn it. I'm, I need you. I got old girl up here. And it's getting wild. Uh, I need some interference. Staying up here, she in the way. I said, well, what you got? What you what you need? I'm not, what you need? I'm gonna send her down there to you. Now she wild, man. I'm gonna tell you now she wild. She real wild. So you do what you gotta do with her. I just need you to keep her occupied so I can put this dick off in her. Okay. Send her down. You know where I'm at. Sends her down to my room. Knock, knock, knock on the door. Now I done seen how bad this bitch is. Right. So I know whoever at this door gotta be close. Close, at least. 
Nigga. This is where the story gets on. I open the door. I can't believe this. It is Gene Simmons from Kiss at the goddamn door. The lead singer of Kiss is at my fucking door. That's who the fuck it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's who the fuck it is. I'm fucking about to run up out of here. Gene Simmons, man. Ozzy Osbourne at my fucking door. <laughs> hey, Sharon, I got a fucking night for you. That's who the fuck is at my goddamn door, man? It's 1.30. And she coming in hot. Titties pressed up. Now I ain't gonna lie I'm to done. you. She I'm glow, done. love glow to death. Looked out for me. Moni looked out, but you fucked me. Didn't know, I didn't know what the fuck was going I on. I told him I needed you. Yeah. Told him I might need you first, then confirmed that I definitely needed him. So when it came down to crunch time, I knew, hey, I gotta make this move. I gotta do, I gotta separate. I called him, I told him I need you. So he got this woman in my hotel room at 1.30. Woman is my mama's age. In my room with some after the club shit on. Ready to get it popping. I don't know. She was she was lit. Hi. Now she hands in shit. I said, yeah, what's up? What's up? <laughs> I'm all right. Who the fuck says hands? Then she starts, then she starts name dropping. Yeah, you know, I'm ready to party. You know, you know Jay, right? Jay Reed? Yeah, we party. We party party. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. Now remind you, Jay Reed ain't gonna come up three more times throughout the rest of the okay. night. This time number one, she name dropped. Oh, so you know Bill and Ali. Oh, so why aren't you out on the road with them all the time? Because I'm not booked, bitch. That's why. <laughs> That's why I'm doing shows on Thanksgiving. You think I want to be away from my fucking family? No. So then D-Lay calls me. Hey, I need you again. What you need? I ain't got no condoms. You got condoms? What you need? What you need? What you calling for? I need condoms, man. You got condoms down here? No! Nobody know not to call me for no fucking condoms. You know I ain't got no condoms down here. That's a death sentence where I'm at. I get caught with condoms, it's over. Me and, my, me, my, me and Courtney weren't even married at this point. But well, we damn sure wasn't using no rubbers. The story, the story goes to him. I just, the, the part of it that is uncomfortable for me is, I know these people. I still talk to you these still people. still talk to these people. Yes. They're going to see this. So I'm like, why would you do this? Yeah, somebody going to show them. Just don't lie. I love, I love how Ernie's going to give a fuck. <laughs> he, he fucked me. He's so now. Friend. It's damn near freezing outside in the middle of the night. Now me and the girl, mama, is going to the store to get condoms. But I got to get the condoms on the slick because she think the condoms is, that I am going to get is for me and her. Oh, wow. Because she don't want Dee Dee to fuck her because she know Dee Dee's still technically married and is separated. And he know how Mo, she know how Moni feel about it. So that's the whole story. So we got to run interference like they're not going to fuck. But she thinking she getting hot and heavy because she think I'm going to get condoms to fuck up. <laughs> so now I got to sneak the condoms <coughs> back up there. <coughs> her led to believe some dick finna get peeled off on. So we go to the fucking store, drive. I, I guess in Tacoma, ain't no fucking condoms out there. Thanks to Nate Jackson. Didn't tell me shit. I, we drive all the way to this fucking store. No store has got condoms. And then she wants to walk in with me. So every time I go to the register and say, yeah, let me get some condoms, the nigga at the register do this. <laughs> <laughs> looking dead what at the bitch. Then looking at me. Yeah, I need some condoms, man. What you gonna do with your life? Ah, <laughs> oh, man, this nigga wild. All right. <laughs> so, I don't know. Magnums. Then she getting her eyes big. I'm like, oh, man, let me get, get the fuck out of here. So we get the condoms, we get back. She done got comfortable in my room. Start taking clothes off, lay down and shit. I'm like, fuck. I'll be, hey, I'll be right back. I go up there, knock on the door, hand him the condoms. I come back downstairs. Then he proceeds to go ahead. Tell him what you did to him. He's going back. Now you, that's back on you. Yeah, it's on me, but I mean, that's really not the story. I mean, he ran the interference. No, this is Seattle, motherfucker. What happened? After that, then what happened? We had sex that night. Yeah. That's about it. And then you uh, left me down in the room. But I needed to know, I still don't know to this day, what you did in that room with Glove. That's the question. What I didn't do was sell my soul to the devil. The nigga <laughs> damn sure was sitting on my bed with a suit. <laughs> she did something to you, Billy. Nah. <laughs> that nigga said she did something to you, Billy. I don't she even want to start telling my story. It's too aggressive to be alone with you at 3 o'clock. She did something to you, Billy. And I know she did. I'm going to tell you what she did. She's an aggressor. 
Let me tell you what she did. She pulled them titties out. And then started trying to tell me. It's the second time the name came up. I mean, I just want to tell you, I want to be up front with you. Yeah, I suck dick. I hope it's not a big deal for you. Oh, definitely can't air that. <laughs> <laughs> definitely can't air that. Definitely can't. Well, not how to air it. <laughs> oh, my bad. So anyway, we'll get through this. She did, the man. No, no, wait, wait. Not me. No, no, this is still good confirmation anyway. Yeah. Yeah, because we never got the confirmation. We're we going to talk this out, and I, we'll tell you what we, we can't. Just yeah, yeah. So, after I say, man, hey, I stalled her, I stalled her, I rubbed her back. I just tried to stall it as long as I could good. so you could do what you're doing. And he up there, hit it hard from the back. He's going hard on this woman. Then finally, 4.30, sun up comes out. She's strolling her ass out of my fucking room. She falls asleep on my bed. They Jeez, end up so leaving. I, I never fucked, did, never did nothing to that woman. Came back down here to do the fucking run. And Nate, of course, and fucking, uh, what's our, what's our frat brother name up there that, that do the shows? They had the fucking Chinese restaurant. The little Asian. Uh, 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 Anthony. Anthony, what's his last name? Tibbs. He a Tibbs, too? Yeah, Anthony Tibbs. I thought it was, yeah, I guess it is. I guess he Tibbs and it's another, the other one that's, uh, the one that's in D.C. Anyway, they didn't have a hotel for one night. So Glow hits me and was like, hey, I see you coming back up here. I'll get you from the airport. Me and Moni will pick you up. I'm like, all right, cool. I get out, I get up there. They pick me up from the airport. I'm like, Tia, where the room at? Oh, we don't have a room. And Glow said she was going to get you for the night, so I didn't have to get one. <laughs> I said, what? He said, yeah. <laughs> Glow said she was going to get you tonight. I said, how the fuck you negotiate this with a fan? <laughs> it's a fan. <laughs> Nigga, you, you fucked me when they got you tomorrow. God damn. So now I'm over there. They done cooked. Had a great time. We sitting there drinking. We talking. She done went to the liquor store and got the biggest bottle of fucking uh, 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 Tito's vodka. Mm -hmm. And then got a big ass thing of fucking crown. I got white and dark. I didn't know what she liked. So I'm drinking. We laughing. We in there. We just hanging out. Moni in there. We drinking. About 145, both these motherfuckers fucked up. Mm -hmm. Moni done put on some fucking shorts, all the ass hanging out the back. Mm -hmm. Top up. Both of them pressed. I'm like, oh, I see what's going on here. We've got ourselves in a dick measuring contest. <laughs> so... Every time Glow walk out the room, Moni standing out close, start rubbing on my leg. I said, oh, shit. Oh, they wild wild in here. Wild wild. They wild wild. Glow keeps trying to motion me to come in her room. I mean, why don't you just fuck me right now before you get tired and fall asleep? I was like, just hold on. Just hold tight. <laughs> hold tight. <laughs> get somebody over there I'm trying to get tight. out this night without peeling off no dick on this woman. <laughs> She gets, she gets drunk and lays down in there. Moni goes in her room. I walk in there. I say, hey, you good in here? <coughs> she does the fake cry on me. I just don't understand why no one wants to spend time with me. I said, what's happening? <laughs> he said, what's happening? You know, I went out there, you know. K-Dub came up here. I left with him for a month, and I did whatever he said. I, I lived with him. Then he sent me back. said I was dirty. <laughs> and I said, I said, what? I said, what happened? Listen, it's all he wouldn't shit. fuck me unless I got out the shower. I was like, I don't know. It, I, what's wrong with me? I said, ain't nothing wrong with you. Right. Nothing wrong with you at all. Ended up putting all the dick in this woman at that time. She's like, wait, mom's going to hear us. She goes and locks the door. Right. Mom comes and starts twisting the door like, oh, oh, I see. I get it. You didn't want to fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> now you get it. Wait, you ready to cut too? Now, Glow calls me. Glow calls me that night. D. I need to know. You need to know what's going on. What are you I'm doing? I'm gonna tell D. Lang. She said, <laughs> "What are you doing?" I was like, "Oh, nothing. What's going on, Glow?" She's in there <laughs> with Billy. He's gonna fuck her. <laughs> I said, what? <laughs> Billy's gonna fuck Moni. 
And I'm going to tell it. Because it's not right. Right, Moni? I'm on the phone with Delay. <laughs> I'm like, what is going on? I said, I'm going to leave Billy alone. I'm going to talk to Billy on another time. I never talked to him about it. Years. We get busy, we on the city. You forget, man, you forget. Man, Glow called me that night on one. I'm gonna tell it. Yeah. He's gonna fuck her. Yeah. Right, Moni? Oh, wow. Hey, man. All I'm trying to do is, she's throwing up names of comedians and shit. Both of them trying to tell me shit. I don't care! I think I know who this is. Shit, I don't care. So that's the Seattle story? That's the Seattle story. Wow. Sheesh.